Oh, YouTube, what's he about to hear? And we are back in Pokemon Forest Sky. This episode, we're going to take on the Ice Man in the gym. The Ice Gym. Yeah. <laughs> As this is a gym battle episode, we are dumping the Pokemon in the box. And we are heading off to the gym. As you've grown to expect. Um, I, I seem to have been wrong about the, uh, the gym we couldn't get into before being the fourth gym. But it is one of the gyms that we bat that we go to in the future. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll really drop the ball on this one. It's all right. It's all right. It's nothing major. It's just minor mistake. Okay. Um, I give Pamela a quick claw, just because I kind of feel like she needs something. <laughs> I I mean, right now she hasn't got anything in her hold slot in her whole thing, her hands. She hasn't got anything in her hands. And, you know, we need something to give us, even if it's got a really small chance, give us a slight edge. You know? Ugh. Ice puzzles. Um, these ice puzzles aren't actually that bad, which is wonderful. Because the ice puzzles in some of the other Pokemon games and the hacks I've played are just, ugh, so painful. So very, very painful. I managed to record these on the first time, so yeah. Just follow what I did and you'll get through them fine if you're actually using this to play through the game. Which is a bit odd. No offense or anything, it's just this is a solo run. But I'll be quiet now. Yeah. Um, you have to go in the bottom right hand ladder because the others either lead you back to the entrance of the entire gym or lead you to somewhere else. I don't battle all the um, trainers in here because I just, I just don't. <laughs> this, this is a big gym. It's a very big gym, and I don't want to. I don't want to waste your time with petty trainers who aren't in my way. You know, <laughs> yeah. Um, Cryo Jonal, Gonal, I don't know. Fifth generation Pokemon, quite defensive. I haven't really seen it much. I don't think. I, I don't think it's been categorized yet, but I don't think it's very big in the meta game. It's quite a defensive um, Ice type, and I think it's quite good, but. You know, it just I don't think its move set complements it very well. Mm. Vanillite is generally the uh, peop one people go to because it's an ice cream. How can you not want to play with an ice cream? Not like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a day mind. Yeah. Um. Uh, moving on, this fella. As oh, I don't. Oh yeah, I don't understand why this wasn't a double battle. To be honest, because they both can see me. Oh well, regardless, he has a Sneasel. We've seen Sneasel before. Dark Ice, very, very weak to fighting type moves, like Rock Smash. So it goes down without even a bit of a threat to us. Mm. I, I feel like he could have tried a little harder. Mm. Also, I'm quite surprised that I outsped Sneasel, considering Sneasel is incredibly fast. Mm. Very, very fast um, Dark type and Ice type, obviously. Um, it's quite a good physical sweeper, but very flimsy. Yeah. It folds like paper with the wrong move. So, mm. um, this is probably the easiest pu gym puzzle I've ever been through. <laughs> Just go over there and slide along. Yeah. Um, well, aside from uh, Reds and Fire Reds, um, Brock gym puzzle. Because that was literally just go, if you don't want to fight everyone, just go around a couple corners and you're at Brock, so... Yeah. They could have tried a little harder with that one, I'll be honest. Though it was the first generation and, you know, things were different back then. Less high-tech and complicated. Um, uh, this battle is quite annoying for me. And it's quite... Mm, See, now things are actually getting to a challenge. I don't know if it was just a gym leader or whatever, what, what because um, people, uh, other random trainers are at his level. But I am actually having a bit of uh, difficulty with these battles now. You'll see later on in this one specifically that he actually does a couple of things that cause me a bit of trouble. Mm. I've had to use Super Fang a lot more in this battle now. I, I'm not proud of myself. I'm really not, but... If I don't use it, then I can literally do almost nothing to them. And I would lose if I didn't have it. So, I mean, Celio isn't the one I was thinking of when I talked about having to use it. But 
it's very defensive. And especially when it uses defense skill. <laughs> you know, I can barely do any damage, even with Headbutt, which is Pamela's most damaging move. Mm. Um, Hail, we can see now. Um, increases the damage of Ice-type moves, I think. And it damages you every turn, unless you're an Ice-type. Much like uh, Sandstorm, except for different typing. So, yeah. Um, also changes cast forms uh, type and the type of snow ball, weather ball, weather ball, yeah. yeah like I, I talked about cast form before. I like it. I like it. Glaceon. Uh, very, very defensive somehow. <laughs> it's not even meant to be defensive. Umbreon's a defensive evolution, evolution. And now I've, I'm having to use Superfang twice just to make sure I can kill it. <laughs> it's not good. Not even slightly good. Plus, it has um, ice moves, as you can see, that lower my speed and uh, and freeze me, more importantly. Um, luckily, freeze didn't play that much into this uh, into this gym battle. And if, mm, if I was frozen for more than a turn or two, in any case, I would have probably lost within a heartbeat. Yeah. Mm. Freezing is a uh, is a status condition that fr well, it freezes you. You can't move. It's like paralysis. It's like paralysis, except guaranteed you can't move. But it has a higher chance of you defrosting every single turn. So that's that's good. Um, there are no moves that can guarantee a freeze because well, it would be overpowered. To be perfectly honest, freeze is a very good status condition to inflict on your opponent. Mm. Oh, Pillar Swine. Pillar Swine caused me some problems. Mainly because of its move, Dig. And, yeah. Dig is a two-turn move. You've seen it before. Oh, and Iceberg. Iceberg, lovely. This is a move that was actually added in in the hack. I think it's a Generation 5 move, but... I can't remember. Yeah. But they've added moves. You've got you've to give it to them, or him, for that. That's quite impressive. Really is. Um, He added a couple of other ones. I'll point them out when we see them. Uh, yeah. Um, and you just saw Dig. Now that, because uh, it's a ground ice type, Pillar Swine, that should have been four times effective. And that was a critical hit, and it didn't even do half. <laughs> uh. Now, as you may have noticed, Pamela may struggle a bit from now on. But I'm going to persevere. We will beat this thing. I promise. Right. Two super, well, one super fang, but yeah, that should be in the range to kill it in one shot. And I'm stupid here. I waste a move that I could have used a turn. I could have used on healing, and used it in attacking instead. And which means I've had to waste a turn where he could damage me, and I can't damage him. Ugh. See, that's that's one of my other gripes about two turn moves, and when you're doing a solo run, at least that you have to um. You have to plan out your moves further. Which, um, it's like playing with a slow king. Mm. Very powerful Pokemon, by the way. Very, very good. Except its ability really <laughs> causes its problems. Um, mm. I, I mean, um, if I wasn't doing a solo run, and I actually had a team, um, if an opponent used Dig, you'd switch out to your uh, Flying-type Pokemon, because Flying-type is resistant to ground, and it would have done nothing to you. And then switch back, and you'd been safe. But I can't do that, could I? No. Hmm. Oh, this is... Wait for it. This is interesting. Something... Uh, cut isn't... Yeah. Hmm. I'm saying TM49. Wait. Wait. That TM49 connotes Iceberg. That move inflicts damage point. It also gives a high to freeze... To freeze your opponent. It, it makes your opponent high so much that they can't move. <laughs> just... Just wanted to point that out. Another little grammatical error there, but... Um... Bit funnier than the other one. Also, why would an iceberg give you a high? Is it like is it full of drugs? Is it like frozen, liquidized drugs? I don't like that gym leader anymore. <laughs> oh, well. Moving on. Let's get our stuff out of the computer, and um. We'll go get ourselves a HM, that's right. We're getting a HM. Again. Mm, two episodes in a row where we get a HM. Isn't that nice? Mm. 
We're really making progress, aren't we? Yeah. This HM has stuff to talk about, though. It's not... Well, it is generic. <laughs> and it has been in every Pokemon game. But it's been renamed. So... Yeah, I guess it's something. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Um, yeah, we have to go through this place to get to the next route. There's tons and tons of items in here. And I actually have to... Well, I'll try and show you off. Show them. Show you them. Show you them. Yes. But... <laughs> You know, it's a lot of work, a lot of training battles, a lot of cutting. I will do it, I will do it, because you guys are worth it. But, you know, it's, it's work, it's work. But, um, yeah, what, we're here for one thing right now, and that's our HM. And that's what we're focusing on. So, oh, by the way, this battle kept in, even though we've seen both these Pokemon, because they're the first time we've seen a trainer use them. So, yeah, that's something. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy. I don't really like gulping. It's a bit derpy. Not as derpy as Stunkfish. Fisk. Fisk? Yeah. I kind of hope you, we see that in this hack, just so I can point out how incredibly derpy it is. It's kind of funny. It's actually a pretty good Pokemon. At least from what I've played with it. I used it in um, white or black. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. It was good. I liked it. I liked it. Um, it's electric ground. Just quite a useful combination. And quite bad combination at the same time. Yeah. Monfernu, evolution of Chimchar. Um, fighting fire type. Oh, I really hate the fighting fire types. It's so very, very boring. Every single three generations in a row, three generations they've had a fighting fire type, and it's just it's getting ridiculous now. <laughs> Change it. As you may have guessed, my hack won't have a fighting fire type. Um, and I'm not releasing any more details, so, meh. Nah. <laughs> FYI, I stuck out my tongue then. I know you can't see that. Hmm. Bouflant, uh, Bufalant? Oh, these new Generation 5 names are very complicated. <laughs> um, physical attacker. Caused me some problems in white, actually. Well, Generation 5 in general. I don't know why. It it seems to be built like a tank. It can take a beating and it can dish out a beating as well. I guess you can expect that from a bull. Although, I never had any problems with Tauros. So... Yeah. This is Cut! Well, or as it's known in this genera on this hack. Air Cutter. Yeah. And you know what that means. It's a flying type move. We can finally make Starly not useless. Yay! Pengi, for some reason, can't learn it. Hmm. If you're just catching up with us, Pengi is Pip. Yeah. Anyway, I have to wrap this up. Thank you very, very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to be getting through this area and taking a tour of the next town. But for now, I say adieu.